How's it going guys? It's Poetry Sun and welcome back to another episode of the Isolationist Japan campaign where pretty much every single event that we've like taken a choice on has been moving us towards the Isolationist end because that's what we do, you know, that's what we do here. Um, in any case, yeah, welcome back. We are right now building up a army, as much of an army as we can to fight Ming with. Um, the thing is, like, I, we're stronger than them. Especially naval-wise. It's just we don't have a whole bunch of manpower, which is, uh, a problem. <laughs> but, um, but I mean, we're doing fine, I think. We're honestly just, we're honestly doing fine. Um, we are working on annexing Majafit. Um, yo, <laughs> those pop-ups kept popping up every single second. Um, we don't have a improved relations guy. Hold on, let's just spend a little money to try and, like, roll a few times for a Diplo rep guy. Nah, your trade efficiency, which is, you know, it's still fine, but... And hold on, our trade fleet is done repairing and uh, upgrading. Go to the Malacca node, and it, actually the most, uh, the biggest trade power there is pirates. That's actually really funny. It's, uh, let me guess. They're like Ming pirates? No, they're from Khmer. Nice. Still, this should really, really vamp up our trade in this, in this, uh, node. Actually, let's look at our money. Trade 35. And it went up to 42 from that. That's huge. Um, Ming, I don't care about you at all. <laughs> hmm, let's see what we got here. Did you uh, end up converting all this already? Nice, that's pretty fast. And Johor is also Shinto already, which is cool. Uh, is it almost tech time? It is almost tech time. We're going to have to like do one round of development. And then we'll be able to make it to the end of the year. At which point we're going to get new ideas, including new diplomatic ideas. I think I'm going to go with diplomatic, like the, the actual diplomatic idea group. Uh, because it's it's good, um, for one. And also, I don't know. Like, it's we want to we wanna go either that or trade, pretty much. So there's no other one that is really even an option in my mind. Um, actually, we got to develop one more time because we're earning so much. But uh, yeah, we could we could go trade, um, and it would be on it's it's always helpful. Trade is just like a good idea group in any situation. It would be helpful ish, but like I don't think we necessarily need it. Uh, we definitely don't need it. But I mean, I'm not even sure if it would help us enough to be justified. That <clears throat> excuse me. Um. Okay, we have acted forcefully to limit the influence of Western traders on our society. Uh, okay, so add one to isolationism level, end incident non-bond trade, closed ports for for 50 years, giving trade efficiency and tolerance of the true faith. That is quite good. That is good. And we are more isolationists. Look at this. Isolationism, level three. Missionaries plus one. Culture conversion cost, minus 15%. I like that. Yes, I do. Uh, we are going to be culture converting some land, at least, um, down in this area. I am pretty sure. Hmm. And maybe in China as well, but that's probably going to be uh, not as soon. All right, cool. Let's go and take these techs. Oh, next next tech level is imperialism. I forgot about that. Okay. Um, again, I do think we want to go diplomatic. Let's real quick look. What are the things you get from this. Oh, the quantity one is real nice. The expansion one is actually alright, too. Uh, those are pretty good, too. We're gonna go diplomatic. I think we're gonna go diplomatic. Um, it's good for a lot of reasons, but, yeah. Oh, god. Did I... Okay, we're... No, we're making points still. I thought I might have, like, screwed ourselves there. Um, let's go and pay off our loans. We have one more loan, even. Wow, I didn't realize we had that many. Hmm. Let's go ahead and do this, maybe. Let's see. Provincial trade. How long do these last? We'll probably do this one, actually, at some point. Um. Let's go ahead and do it. I'm gonna I'm gonna say it's worth it. To get some more money. Let's see how much more money we get. A good chunk more. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, I will definitely... Actually, I think I'm going to do this once. Hmm. 
my voice kind of cracked there. It wasn't really a crack, but I don't know. Oh, hey, look, there we go. Diplomatic reputation, dude. That's exactly what I wanted. Helps me integrate Maja Fit a little faster. Is that how you say that, by the way? I believe this area starts um, as being Hindu, right? Like, I don't know what language it is. Uh, okay. We're actually going to take the manpower here, even though it puts us a lot, really high above our cap. We're going to be building an army, and so this will help us stay at our cap even while we're building the army, because it doesn't go away even if you're above the cap. As far as I know. We're making so much money. You know, like, a, let's see, I guess like a thousand a year or something like that. We're making enough money, let's just put it at that. <clears throat> Leave it at that. Okay. Hmm. I forget, is there anything else we could do to, uh, speed up the annexation? No, not really. Hmm. I really want to colonize Australia, but I have not been able to see anything there. It looks like someone is colonizing. It might be the British. So hold on. We have another, um, we have another diplomat now, which really helps with, like, doing stuff like this. Like, spying on the Europeans with one spy, annexing with another, and at the same time having a spy network in someone nearby that's actually useful to us. Um, I'll do that, actually. France, you dare claim my land? I'm glad we have Johor, by the way. They're really doing a lot to help with the whole colonization thing, so that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. The Ottomans are still annoying me with all these islands that they're trying to take over, you know? Okay, Goron Talo has become uh, self-sustaining. Um, let's go ahead and start to colonize elsewhere. Oh my god, we could colonize up here, couldn't we? I know there's like some Kamchatkin tribes over there, but... Not too worried about that. Um, and the Ottomans have islands here. The Ottomans have islands everywhere, and it pisses me off. Let's start by colonizing some stuff here. It's Moluccan, I believe. Hmm. We'll find out soon enough. We don't have any loans now. So when I have enough money, I will start building up my armies now. We can build up two more armies of this size. Well, actually, I think instead I should build up my uh, infrastructure first. In what I mean by that is like my uh, what allows me to have a bigger army in the first place, um, which is like those specific buildings or whatever. Hmm, <clears throat> you know what I mean. Also, I, I really, people have talked about this, um, I really wish that when you take away the Mandate of Heaven from Ming, that it releases all their tributaries. Like, I wish it did that, because without that, if that was the case, I think it would be more doable to beat Ming, but you have to own all of Korea and Japan and other stuff if you want to even have a chance against Ming. Like, we're fine now, but, you know, if we hadn't been in this position... It would have been, like, impossible. Oh my god, look at that. Russian India actually got cut off at some point. So now it just says Russian India instead of just being a little green blob over there. Which was really weird. <laughs> for being honest. Um, also, what other stuff do we have for this? I have at least five different proto-cultures. We will have that soon enough, I believe. Absolutism is at one for us right now. Yeah, and then we'll also be able to get this if we have our force limit up. Oh, universities. You know what? We need to build universities. Let's do that real quick. Because the Enlightenment is going to spawn soon enough. And we, uh... Yeah, it's, it's development cost, right? Yeah, development cost, and it doesn't take up a building spot. So let's just do it in quite a few different places. So why not? Hmm. It'll also give us more splendor points. And these powers start to get really, really ridiculous the, la the later you go on in the game. So I will, uh, I am looking forward to that. Let's build one in Chikuzin as well. Hmm, and that'll probably be it for now for universities. Three trade companies. I haven't really done anything with trade companies. It could be good. And uh, the League War is not really, you know. Pretty sure that already happened, actually, didn't it? Uh, yeah, religious peace and Protestants won. Cool. That's why Bohemia is the emperor. 
<clears throat> also, Morocco, how are you doing over there? I know you owe, you <laughs> you own almost all of Portugal, which is actually hilarious, but yeah. Uh, our truce will be ending with Pasai soon. Do we want to go over there? Maybe eat them, eat the rest of their country. I think that actually is a good idea. We'll go and do that. Also, why are you guys not mothballed? I definitely had you mothball at some point in time. That's weird. Yeah, that helped with our income by like 10 ducats. That's pretty uh, significant. Let's go over here to Jambi. Or like Bambi, am I right? Wait, what? Oh, did they actually, they actually took that order, huh? Okay, good. Oh no, our Admiral died. Hmm, hey, Palu has also become self-sustaining. Nice. Uh, let's go ahead and take you here and put you in this place. Hmm. Johor, I hope you're going to be colonizing this. Shouldn't be too much longer now before it becomes the right decision to integrate Johor. There's not too much left to colonize, so, you know? Hmm. Oh, hey, forgot about this. 400 points. Let's do it. I just, I would think, I think it's about time to just finish up these ideas. Admin tech cost is really good. Number of states is really good. And then, oh my god, you know what? I'm an idiot. I am an idiot. Uh, hold on. Gain a skill three, national manpower. Oh, I actually think that's a good idea. Yeah, let's do it. Um, I'm an idiot. You guys, you guys want to know why I'm an idiot? I want to keep repeating this because I completely forgot about the fact that we could, if I waited a little bit longer, I could have added this policy for this diplomatic annexation cost. However, however, I might be saved from my idiocy, and the reason why is because I think it applies retroactively. Um. Uh, it's not even retroactively, it's just like cutting it off the top of what you still have to do. So if we can reach 400 points again, which will take until, let's see, quick math, uh, 200 more points. Let's see, like 209. 209 divided by 12 is like, yeah, okay, so we should actually be saved from my idiocy, luckily. But still, not a good uh, thing that I just forgot that. I don't care about that. <laughs> you gonna care about Korea having a claim on me? Oh no, we lost stability. That sucks. Also, I really hope that our uh, our heir dies. I might just I might just do this actually. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Why not? You gotta live a little, right? Hmm. If I remember correctly, that does actually. Uh, uh, no, it doesn't actually affect Liberty Desire. I thought it did. Maybe I'm thinking of someone else. We have two, um, two groups of Separatists that are about to fire right now. Or uh, are starting to build up now. Yeah, whatever. I don't feel like fighting them. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and get in a position for this war, although we're not going to do it yet anyways. Hmm. <clears throat> Haiti? Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Haiti just fabricated a claim on us. I don't even see you. Oh my god. Haiti just fabricated a claim. What? Where? Do you have, like, they probably have, like, expansion or something. Like, yeah, I don't know. Something stupid like that, probably. Uh, that's funny. I do plan on colonizing Australia if I get the opportunity, by the way. Even though that's not necessarily, uh... I mean, even if that doesn't necessarily make sense. We're gonna do it anyways. Look at that. Australia. There we go. Boom! Oh, yeah, baby. This is my Australia now. You're in Australia, baby. You're gonna die. Okay. That's a, I don't know. That's a bad joke. But whatever. Oh, fudge. Holy crap, they just stack white right by... Oh, I am... I am... No, 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 you don't understand. You're about to die. You are actually about to get crushed, Rebels. You think, oh, we're so clever. We just stack wiped your army because uh, you were dumb and uh, did not raise them up to full army maintenance. No, you're actually about to die. 
This is going to become two stacks, which is why I'm making it so large. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, no, that, that's that's not cool, dog. That's uh, that's like super not cool. Uh, let's give him a general. Hold on. We can get a better general than that. Yeah, there we go. That's more like it. That's more like it. Alright, we should uh, definitely like insult one of our rivals, like Ming. There you go. F off, Ming. Let's go ahead and keep converting. Okay. Let's go ahead and keep converting. Okay. Now you will die. Okay. <clears throat> and next month we're going to be able to do our idea. There we go. We finished that. We also get the states, which is really good again. And we get to do this. Alright, if I if this doesn't apply, I'm going to be pissed, but I think it will. Yeah, look at that. So we didn't actually waste it, but still... A little risky and kind of dumb that I that it was even a problem in the first place just because I forgot something, you know? That's completely my bad. So, so, I think we're gonna go ahead and uh, declare on on the um, Pasai scum here in a second. That's mean. I'm sorry. We won't do it just yet, actually. Uh, let's go back to buildings, and uh, we're going to build up our infrastructure a little more. I think we want to do a land force limit thing. Um, okay, so we actually already have some here that we can just upgrade, which is definitely what I would like to do. So let's go ahead and do that. If they're already taking, Basically, if they're already taking up a building space, why wouldn't you do it? Especially if it's a promoted culture anyways, you know? There we go. That's uh, quite a few done. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, Majafit is almost uh, done being integrated. Or annexed, whatever. Same thing, basically. Yeah, I think this I think this was a good decision to like wait a little longer before the War with Ming. I'm pretty sure we could have beaten them, but I'm glad that we paid off our debt. We have more money now. We have a huge amount of income, which is really good. We're going to be able to... Um, do a lot more with that, so that's good. Also, what do we want to what do we want to do here? That one might work, but I mean it won't save us that much. So, hmm. The absolutism is, I think, what we want to do. Yeah, now I think about it, that's actually definitely what we want to do. Okay. I think we're going to go ahead and declare on you guys right now. Doesn't really matter which one we use as the, uh, the claim, but... Oh, wow, that was brutal. Um... Okay. Income from vassals, nice. Where's our trade fleet? Hold on, you guys come over here. Trade fleet is more than enough for this. It'll do. That'll do. Okay. Um, let's go. We're going at speed four because I don't really think we need to be at any lower speed for this war. We kind of we did most of the uh, the difficult parts of this part of our campaign already, or this part of our long term conquest. You know. Yeah. I think this is gonna be too hard. We're definitely not going to have enough to do, like, a full annexation of them in this war, I'm pretty sure. But, you know, that's okay. Oh, no! Our, uh, our waifu died. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and see. How much could we take? So, I want to take, like, 135. Okay. Oh, my God. We actually probably could afford to eat all of it right now. At least most of it. 
Hmm. This will put us into negative Diplo power. I don't like that. Hold on, just wait a little bit. Wait a few months until the annexation of Majafit is done. Which will be done next month. It's going to be really awesome. And boom, look at that. Look at that. Oh, we also got Splendor Points. Now let's go to Yearly Absolutism. Um, and we also, we also are going to make all this stuff into states. Because if we didn't, we would be dumb. Because it's a massive amount of development. Look at that. It's like, that's like freaking 65 development in one state there. This one is a little less, but still, huge amount. That's part of the Sunda Islands. But look at that, 27... Huge amounts of development here. Naval Race versus Ming also got uh, finished from that. Let's go ahead and just spend a second to figure out where what we got from all these boats and whatnot that we took over. Um, let's just go ahead and I'm going to go and say whatever. I'm going to eat you. I don't really care about that. Pasai is going to be dead, so... Okay, we got a random person from our family, I think. That's who that is. It's just, if it makes sense. But, all right, cool. I mean, they kind of suck. They actually really suck. What were they? 240. Yeah, I mean, it could be worse, but still, not too great. Hmm. Um, let's go over here and... Oh, hey, we got a scholar, though. That's pretty good. I will uh, accept that. Shinto Zealots? Dude, you should have everything be Shinto by now. I'm, I'm disappointed, Johor. You can deal with those rebels. I'm not dealing with them. I approve of them, in fact. Okay. Hmm. Well, I mean, like, I think we're, <laughs> we're doing pretty, pretty okay right now. We finished eating Pasai. That's pretty good. Let's go ahead and get you back to here. Beyond that... That's, uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty great. Let's take the money in this situation. Why are we losing so much money right now? What is our force limit? It's at 199 now. That's crazy. Let's see. And we did have, again, there were a whole bunch more of these buildings here that I think we should upgrade. Yeah. We want to get our force limit up as much as possible. We're actually not doing great on money right now. That's okay. Let's just get all of our... Oh, there's one random ship over here. Let's get all of our navies sort of assembled. Also, when do we want to go ahead and integrate Johor? We should probably go ahead and start doing it, you know, soon-ish, once they're done with this colony, maybe. Um, or start doing it now so it's done right when they're done with the colony. You know what I mean. Um... <laughs> And the reason why I say that is because of the fact that they've, they've kind of run out of stuff to colonize that's directly close to us. We can handle it from here, I'm pretty sure. Uh, beyond that, it'll be just really good to get that land under our own umbrella directly so that we can get a lot more money from it. Um, beyond that, well, I don't know. It just seems like it's the right time. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and delete this fort here. Um, beyond that, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I, I think it's good. Let's go ahead and make this a state when we can. Hmm, we can't yet, though. All right, cool. I'm going to wrap up this episode here. Thank you guys for watching. Please go ahead and leave a like and subscribe for more. Come back next episode, and we'll probably be preparing for the war with Ming for real now this time. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.